Hi, my name is Lou DiCocco with St. Jude Liturgical Arts Studios. And what you're seeing right now is the final step of a process of creating the tilma of Our Lady of Guadalupe. The process is we take the image in a high definition and it's fire baked enameled on ceramic tiles, outdoor ceramic tiles. This is of the same tradition as the Azulejos tile that is found in Portugal. Um, this is a uh, long um, history, uh, hundreds of years uh, where these tiles are able to sustain the outdoor elements. So you'll have Our Lady here for many generations to come. This is a beautiful opportunity to have this fresco right here at the entrance of our school so that as we walk in, we can draw the inspiration of the message of Our Lady of Guadalupe uh, and, and hopefully inspire the students in every moment as we go in and out of the school and be part of our life here. Hi, my name is Ryan and um, Our Lady of Guadalupe Mosaic inspires me to be like Juan Diego and um, trust in Mary. So trust in Our Lady. So with this story of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the Blessed Mother really does teach us to trust in her. So Juan Diego, of course, is the first indigenous person canonized. Well, Juan Diego in 1531 has this apparition uh, of Mary on Tepeyac Hill, just outside of Mexico City. This was actually a hill where just years before human sacrifice would take place. And the Blessed Mother asked uh, Juan Diego to go to the Archbishop and ask for a chapel to be built there in her honor. He goes and of course he, the Archbishop at first doesn't believe him. And he goes back and, and he says, well, Blessed Mother, I failed you. Can you ask somebody else? And she says, no, I want you to go back and ask him again. And so uh, he does, he goes back and, and this time the Archbishop uh, says, okay, why don't you bring me a sign that this is truly the Blessed Mother? He was going to go see the Blessed Mother, but his uncle got sick and he missed his appointment with the Blessed Mother. And then he was embarrassed. And he actually tried to avoid going to see her, but she intercepted him and said, Juan Diego, why? Why are you trying to avoid me? Don't you know that I'm your mother? And then he, she tells him to go up on the hill to gather these flowers that were there. They were in bloom. Now it's December, okay, it's the middle of winter, and he finds these Castilian roses, which are not native to the area, and he gathers them into his tilma. Now the tilma would have been the native uh, clothing that he would have worn at the time. He gathers them there and he brings them to the Archbishop and uh, he says, Archbishop, this is the sign that our Blessed Mother gave us and he opens his tilma and he lets out the flowers and there we find this image is on his tilma. The Archbishop is amazed, he is convinced, he also sees those roses and he realizes what they are. Again, he's convinced. So uh, this is the image that we have here. It's actually a, a beautiful image of Our Lady and really reminds us of that great work that Our Lady did. It was after that uh, that there were a tremendous amount of conversions uh, in Mexico City in that area uh, and then throughout the New World. So that's a, a story of Juan Diego. Uh, we're grateful to have this here so our children can see this. She is the patroness of the Americas under this title. Uh, so for us, very important, as you've heard before, our children are able to see it as they come by here. As people come into the lot during carpool, uh, they're able to see this. So again, we're grateful to have this image here.